Hello everyone, this is Tobias with another Blender Grid tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you five different ways to remove fireflies in Blender. So, to start off, what are fireflies? Fireflies are basically small, different lighting defects in your render. So, as you can see, we have very bright spots here that aren't necessarily supposed to be here. Just so you know, this render was rendered with 300 samples, so this is not caused by render noise. This is something else. These are fireflies. Now, why do fireflies happen? Well, they have been for ma two main reasons. And the first reason is because uh, the renderer has difficulty finding specular highlights viewed through a soft, glossy, or diffused reflection. Another reason is because of our scene itself, so the lighting in our scene. So for this particular scene that we have here, we have a very small space. So the light that is in this scene is bounced off the walls multiple times and then into the camera, which is a problem for our renderer. So, how do we fix this issue? How do we fix fireflies in general without bumping up our render time? So, one of the most common ways of doing this is by bumping up our samples to close to like a thousand, two thousand, whatever. But this could up your render time by two to three times. And that's a problem, especially if you have a deadline and need to get your render out fast. So, how do we fix this issue without actually causing our render time to go up? Another way that we can remove fireflies from our render without actually upping our render time is with two settings, Collect Direct and Indirect. Now these two settings put a limit to the intensity of light bounced directly and indirectly by surfaces. Now it's great for getting rid of fireflies, but it definitely comes at a cost. So if we go ahead and put these settings, the best setting that I found here is 0 0.03, just upping it by 1. Now unfortunately, this definitely comes at a cost. Our scene looks very dull and has practically no light to it. As you can see, it has completely removed our light here, and our materials are very flat and plain. So if your scene is a cartoon scene, it is a great way of removing fireflies. But if it's more photorealistic, then it won't work. So the second way of removing fireflies from your render is by using light sizes. So by using this, you keep your quality and you also remove fireflies. And your render time doesn't go up by 4 hours. So to do this, go ahead and select your light, go under your light settings. And under here, under lamp, we can see that we have a size here. So this size uh, will originally be 0.1 and we're going to change this to 1. Now unfortunately this does cause a few problems, but I'll show you later how to fix them. So as you can see, this definitely looks way better than it did before. Our quality has not been lost, and we have removed fireflies, but there is only one problem with this. Our glossy material is reflecting almost what looks like a sun off of the wall. Now this is because our light size has changed and it has become brighter. Our glossy reflection material is just reflecting our light size. Now this is a problem if you are, again, using a photorealistic renderer, but it definitely looks better than it did before. So how do we fix this issue? Well, that leads us to our third thing, using our light path settings. So under our camera settings here, under light paths, we can change a few settings. So these settings uh, vary due to your scene, but the settings that I'm about to show you definitely are the best for the scene that I have here. So uh, under our transparency, we can change our minimum to four, keep your maximum at eight, Maximum and minimum bounces will be 8 and 8, diffuse will be 4, glossy 4, transmission 12, and volume 9. It also helps to change your filter glossy to 0.3, and now we can render this. So as you can see, this looks great, but unfortunately there is one problem with this. There is still a few fireflies in our scene here. I'm going to show you how to fix those in a second, but this scene looks great, we haven't lost much quality, and our render time didn't go up at all. So, how do we fix the issue with the remaining fireflies? So to do this, we just go under light sizes and change our light to 0.3. So we didn't change it to 1, so our light size won't jump up to, uh, to be a lot larger. And at the same time, we remove all the fireflies from our render. So after rendering this, you can see there are no more fireflies in our render. And also at the same time, our light size isn't too giant. So this looks great, and for this scene it removes all the fireflies. But what happens if you have a scene that still has fireflies? What is the last resort? And that leads us to my next thing, the despeckle node. 
so the despeckle node is definitely a last resort and shouldn't be used if not needed. So to add the despeckle node, just go under your node settings here, check use nodes, and add a despeckle node. Now, this definitely makes everything look great, but there comes a cost to using this. So, rendering this out, it definitely makes it look great, but there is still a lot of fireflies on our scene here. And, also at the same time, we lose a lot of quality by doing this. As you can see, everything is a bit blurred. So, the despeckle node removes fireflies by actually blurring them. So, it definitely doesn't look as good, and it still doesn't remove all of our fireflies. So this is a problem, and the Dispeckle node should only be used as a last resort, and it should be paired with the other ways of removing fireflies. So thank you guys for watching this video, and before I end, I wanted to thank BlenderGrid for letting me come on here as a guest. If you don't know what BlenderGrid is, BlenderGrid is a cheap, affordable render farm for Blender. It helps you render your renders fast, and it keeps the quality of them. So this render farm is definitely the one I'm going to be using in the future. So again, a big thanks to Richard from Blendergreed for letting me come on here as a guest, and if you have any other ways you know how to remove fireflies from a render, feel free to comment in the section below. So as always, thank you guys for watching.